Hello and welcome to Soul for today's video, which is the first of a, of a four-part series about magic squares. If you know about magic squares, you might still learn something from these videos. So we're going to start with uh, part one, which is uh, the 3x3 three three magic square. Here it is. But before we're going to say what it is, what it is to be uh, magic square. Magic square is a table with numbers in it. And when you add the um, content of the lines, the rows, when you add the contents of the uh, columns, each of them, and when you uh, add up the diagonals, it's going to come, the two diagonals, this one and that one, you get always and always the same number which is called the magic constant so there are some uh, magic squares for multiplication but we will get only uh, to study the magic squares for addition and um, what about the numbers we put in there traditionally we put, we put numbers starting from one two here we're going to put to nine but it's not an obligation as long as we have different numbers you can even sometimes have some repeating numbers, not all of them, obviously, or um, numbers that are not um, consecutive, which means that there are gaps between, between them, like 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. But usually we want to put numbers from 1 to 9. So we're going to study uh, these numbers, this uh, from 1 to 9, and also others which are a little bit special and deserve to be um, uh, studied. So we're going to start, start with this 3x3 uh, three three, and as an exercise you can start to try to fill up this with numbers from 1 to 9. It's not that easy actually, especially if you don't know the magic constant, the sum that you need to obtain uh, from each row, each column or each diagonal. Fortunately I can give you the magic constant, it's 15, it's easy to calculate but in this series of videos we're not going to make a lot of calculations, so if you're not good at counting a problem these videos are still for you so here's a hint yep you have five right in the middle you want to make 15 after that I think it's not very difficult to find the rest and you might end up with something like that so here I have a column and you should have a column or a row with one the smallest number nine the biggest number and five which is the median number and also you should have a diagonal which is 4, 5 and 6. And that's, that's it, we have 15 everywhere. And is there anything to, else to say about this square? Yes, a lot of things to say about this square. So first, this square is called, um, it has a name because it's been known like at least from the 2nd century AD. It's called the Luo Shu. It's been known in China. It was um, a little bit mystical. But um, it has also something special. It is unique. Of course, you might not have ended up uh, when you filled it up to, with the same square exactly as mine, but actually it may be just a mirror image of mine or maybe a rotation of mine, but it's still the same. So that's it. That's one of its properties. It's unique. The 3x3 three three, uh, from one, with numbers 1 to 9, magic square, is unique. Okay, but there are more. More than that. And that's where we get to very interesting territory. Because imagine that we just color the, the rows like this. Red, green and blue. And we decide to make three sets of cards. We have the red cards, blue cards, the green cards. Okay, so far so good. And we decide to play a very special game. So where you play cards, you, so you choose one color set. For instance, you choose green and I choose red. And we play our cards at random. We don't know which card we're gonna play as long as it's our color. 
so you might end up playing three, five or seven without even knowing which one you're gonna play, which just anyway. So now the question is, which of the sets is stronger? Is it red? Is it green? Who has the most more chances to win? Winning being having a highest number. Well, obviously, it looks like with my nine, I'm uh, I'm gonna win, but actually, if you check it out, my nine is gonna have three victories against your three, your five, or your seven. But after that, my four is going to have one victory against your three, and the rest of the cases, which are nine of them, I'm gonna lose. So I have four possible victories for nine different outcomes, which means I'm gonna lose. The red set is weaker, globally on average, is weaker than the green set. What about the blue set? Well, check it out. The blue set is actually stronger than the green set. So if you want to play against me, you might choose the blue set. Well, it doesn't work this way, because if you check the blue set and the red set, then you realize that the red set is stronger than the blue set. So we have now three sets of cards, with, if we play this game, that gives us a situation which is called non-transitivity. A non-transitive situation. You know that when you play rock, paper, scissors, it's the same with cards. Or actually you can change them to dice, which put 2-4, two 2-9 four, two and 2-2s two on one die. And you can make a set of three dice and then you, you can play with them. But it's not all, because look at that. We can do the same with the columns. So, again, green is stronger than red. Blue is stronger than green. And finally, red is stronger than blue. So, whether you choose the columns or the lines, you get a set of three non-transitive entities. And I find really, that really cool. I mean, who knew that with this simple, this very old magic square, we would get such a very, very interesting property. But that's not all. Because here is my favorite number. Well, it's not my favorite number, it's just a very interesting number, but I have no favorite number. Don't worry, I'm saying that for the other numbers, because now other numbers I might be jealous or anything. And you don't want to get other numbers against you. So what, what happens is we take our magic square and multiply everything by 1089. Here it is. So obviously we still have magic uh, square because we just multiplied everything. So it's gonna get our magic constant multiplied. Whoa, 16,335. So it's not very surprising. You can do that with any magic square. You multiply by two, multiply by three, multiply by 1089, and you still get a magic number, a magic square. Okay, nothing special with that. Here what it gets uh, funny is that if you choose one digit, let's say the second digit of each number, like this, and remove the rest. Yeah, you get a magic square with a magic constant different. It's actually 12 here. But we can do better than that. Let's go back to our um, square, like this. And now, we're going to remove, to yeah, to choose two numbers, like the, maybe the second and the third one. No, the second, the first and the third one. Okay, let's do this. Remove the rest, and we get a magic number, a magic square, with a magic constant in 162. And it's not over yet, because we can do that with three. Uh, digits that we can choose any three digits as long as you choose the same in each number so 
It's the same as removing one digit. So we move like um, maybe the third digit, like this, and we get a magic square. Isn't it cool? You always get a magic square. But it's not all. We can go and we can do better. So let's put some colors in there. Yeah, and then let's shuffle each of the numbers the same way. So the colors are gonna still be uh, look the same for each between each number. And guess what? Yeah, we get a magic square with a magic constant different than the previous one and the previous ones. And it's not all because this magic square has the same property as the previous one, which means that you can remove any digit, any two digit, any three digits, and you still get a magic square. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, facts about this three by three magic square, which is a uh, simplest of all, but still already has a lot of different and interesting properties. So in the next part, we're going to start to build bigger and bigger magic squares, and we're going to uh, check some very, very interesting ones. I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time for the next video. Bye.